All right, that's two boxes of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Now this is one pound of ground beef, already browned. Now I'm bringing in some delicious cream corn. Ooh, look at that, I love cream corn. I'm gonna get this all out of the can. And now I've got my Rotel drained. Oh yeah, that's a good stuff. And you can find the lower sodium Rotel, but I couldn't find it. All right, now I did not season my ground beef, so I'm adding in some taco seasoning, and this one is lower sodium. Yummy. Ooh wee. All right, we are making a delicious Mexican casserole today. We got that cream corn. We got this cornbread in here. I'm gonna give this a good stir. I'm gonna be adding some other good good to this, but you are gonna love this. It's gonna be your new favorite dinner. Your whole family is gonna be loving it, crying for it, begging for it. Ooh, yeah. This is starting to look good. Huh. All right, that looks good. I'll make this even better. I had some bell peppers, green and red, so I'm just gonna add these add these right on in here. Ooh, what did I tell you? It's a fiesta. Fiesta forever. Caramba. Now I got some Mexican style fiesta blend cheese. This is Monterey Jack, mild cheddar, queso quesadilla, and asadera. Asadero cheese. Why are you laughing, Marty? That's the one that always gets me too. That's why I don't do that. That's why you don't announce them. I'm doing, <laughs> I was this call for two cups. That might be a little bit more than two cups, but personally, I love cheese. So, more cheese, please. Now I'm gonna add in two thirds of a cup of milk because we wanna get that cornbread nice and moisturized, moist. I love a moist cornbread, moist. And now I've got two eggs. At uh, room temperature, did you know they're supposed to be at room temperature when you bake with them? Yeah. Boop, boop. I did hear that the other day. You did? Oh, did me too. I, I heard never it too. Knew. Yeah. I, yeah. And now I'll match those eggs up. Ooh. Oh. Okay. We're going to give this a stir. I got my big bowl, but apparently it not, ain't even big enough. Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be a yummy, yummy Mexican casserole. Look at this, it looks like Christmas. It's Christmas time. I like to buy empanadas at Christmas, but if you can't find, um, oh wait, tamales. tamales. I don't know why I said empanadas. I love a Christmas tamale. They're good too. Empanadas good too. But if you can't find those where you live, cause I like to buy them from, you know, if I can find someone who's making them in their own kitchen, I haven't tried it myself, but maybe we'll try it this Christmas, Marty. We'll get the corn husks. Anyway, if you can't find a fresh tamale around, look at this. We got our own Christmas casserole happening right here, Mexican style. That cheese, that taco seasoning, that ground beef already cooked. Ooh, this is looking so good. This looks so good. All right, I'm bringing in my 13 by nine pre-greased Baking dish, and here we go, baby. Yes, look at that. Ooh, it looks so good. So good, so good. Sweet Caroline. Now I'm just gonna get this spread into my dish here, a little bit evenly. Look at that. Oh gosh, it smells good. I wish you guys could smell it. That Rotel, that taco seasoning. This is going to be heaven. I love a cornbread. I love a Jiffy box cornbread. Okay. Okay. We're going to put this in the oven at 400 for about 25, 25 minutes, not 25 degrees. And I'll show you what we're doing next. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, here we go. Oven time. All right, y'all, this was baking for 25 minutes. It smells like heaven. Ooh. 
that cornbread, those spicy spices, these peppers, that rotel, oh, that ground beef. This is gonna be a good one, y'all. All right, so I've got a little bit of my Fiesta blend left here. And so I'm gonna give, whoa, I'm gonna give this a sprinkle because we're gonna put a nice cheesy crust on this bad boy before we put it back in the oven. All right, I'm gonna spread this carefully with my hands. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I always wash my hands. You know, I do it off camera so y'all don't see it because I don't think you wanna see me wash my hands, but you know, I can if you want. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see me wash my hands, I will wash my hands for you and uh, you can see me do it. Okay, this is a little bit of medium cheddar. I'm just gonna do a little bit more cheese on here because in my world, you can never have enough cheese. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, yeah, love a hand grater. I love to just grate my cheese just like this. And then you know what? When you grate your cheese just like this, there's no cellulose in it. So that is an added benefit. Like I said, this is gonna be the most delicious Mexican casserole. We got those authentic ingredients. We got that taco spice. We got our Rotel. We got bell peppers. That's an authentic Mexican ingredient. We got our ground beef into the oven. It's gonna go in for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna see how this cheese is looking, but then we'll be ready to eat it. All right, y'all. That was in the oven about an additional 10 minutes. Look at that perfect cheesy crust. Our cornbread smells amazing with that ground beef. I'm just gonna add a little dried cilantro to the top. Don't like cilantro? Leave it off. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That is gonna be so good. So good, so good. You know what, here we go. I'm coming in. Get myself a nice good piece of this cornbread. Oh boy, it smells so good. That crunchy cheese crust on the side. Y'all are going to love this. Okay, I think I got all the way underneath. Look at that. Wow, that looks so good. All right, I'm putting it right on my plate. That's holding together just perfect. Got Jiffy cornbread mix, y'all. It's the bomb. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on top because I love some sour cream. Dollop a daisy. All right, and now the moment of truth. I'm gonna take a bite of this beauty. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I think this is gonna be good. So hot and steamy. Blow on it. I love it, we're getting our carbs, our protein, our veggies. We're getting everything in here. Y'all, this Mexican casserole is so good. You have got to try it.